Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Faith Connection 777. We're going to do a quick weekend read for you guys. Today is December 5th, 2020. So just over the next few days, next 48 hours or so, talking about the current energies and current situations you're dealing with right now. These are the tea leaf fortune cards. So we'll start out with these. I'm going to pick three of these and then we'll get into the tarot to see what's coming in for you. Keep in mind, Sagittarius, uh, these are general readings. So not every single message is going to resonate with every single person. Take what does, leave what doesn't. If any of this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So let's get right into it for you, Sagittarius. I've shuffled these tea leaf cards for a while here. Even before I started recording. So let's see what we have. We're going to get three of these. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius. Next 48 hours. Too many, Spirit. We'll get three for Sagittarius, Spirit. Weekend reading here. Next 48 hours. It's a big, big, big stack of circular, circular cards here for me to shuffle. So the right one will come out. All right. We have Ant, Work, Achievement, Success. Beautiful, Sagittarius. I do feel like a lot of you are focusing your efforts on work at this time. We have May. Something coming in the month of May here. Possibly a uh, fruits of your labor here. I see blossoms on this tree here. Having to do with your work situation, possibly. We have Elephant. A long journey, either physically or mental, will leave you wiser in the end. Okay? Something here going on with work. Something here is going to resolve in May time period. A long journey. Interesting. Let's get into the tarot, though, and figure out what's going on. Spirit, what messages do we have for Sagittarius this weekend, December 5th, 2020? What's going on with them this weekend, December 5th, 2020? Messages of light and love for Sagittarius spirit. Tell me what's going on with Sagittarius this weekend spirit. We have the three of wands. Something's turning around for you. Okay. With the ships coming in here. Something is... Something you've been working on. Okay, we have a Six of Swords energy here. This is an energy of separation, leaving something behind. An ending. We have the Eight of Swords here. Some kind of uh, re repeating cycle. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So strong use of your intuition during this time. You could also be connecting with someone who is picking up on your energy here, Sagittarius. I feel it pretty strongly. There's some kind of... Um, I keep getting the feeling here that there's a cycle happening possibly in a relationship and a lot of you are not aware of what it's all about, okay? It's all about evolution and I think... I think that you're very... I think that a lot of you are dumbfounded by why this keeps happening. We have a page of wands energy here. Some of you really wanting to come into a lighter, happier time. This page of wands. Somebody here is having a good weekend. Ending a painful cycle and ready to step into a lighter energy. Spirit, tell me about this. You know, this six of swords is, under, is laying underneath the May card. There's some kind of ending that some of the energy might be happening this weekend, but there's an ending in May. Let's figure out what this is about. We have a Queen of Wands energy, okay? And this could be you, Sagittarius, uh, passionate about what you're working towards. This could also be somebody you're connecting with, a Queen of Wands who's very attractive, very 
confident and passionate creative makes things happen for herself himself this is a feminine card here we also have a queen king of wands so we have the queen and the king of wands here this is a match uh, a very passionate um, attractive match this could be two fire signs either way it looks like this might be coming to an end here okay um, possibly in may but you're connecting with this person possibly at this time. Take this how it resonates for you. Let's see what other deck I can pull from here. I'm going to pull from this. The Muse Tarot deck. I've been using this one a lot lately just because I love the imagery coming through. So a lot of you are putting a lot of hard work into possibly even a new job or business opportunity. And it's going to take a bit for it to pay off. Uh, but it does show that it's going to be turning around. I think a lot of you are questioning right now whether your job situation will pay off. We have an Eight of Swords coming out again. So we have it coming out twice. There's a, re a repeating cycle in your life here that um, you're not learning a lesson about Sagittarius, okay? We have the Temperance card. This is you, Sagittarius, with this Eight of Swords here. You really need to come into a lighter energy, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and I feel like that's what Spirit's telling me here with this Page of Wands because there's something here that keeps repeating that you're not learning, okay? Um, whatever this is, it keep it's... You're not learning your lesson here, Saggy, okay? I think once you do learn this lesson, you're going to step into a lighter, happier energy for yourself. This has been a very long, arduous journey for you. Okay? It's possibly weighing on you mentally. This relationship, this job, whatever this is. Something that keeps repeating. We have a Four of Swords energy here. This is, a, this is an energy of um, taking a time out to heal from something. Okay? A lot of you may be having an expansion of your consciousness consciousness right now as this High Priestess card is coming out. Um, and it's very taxing. You feel very exhausted. A lot of you are resting during this time because something here has just completely worn you out. You're tired. Um, especially if the, there is this repeating cycle happen happening. Um, it's making you go within to figure out a way forward here okay um there is a healing energy here so a lot of you may have been have, have experienced some kind of heartbreak this weekend or in the last few days or weeks or so and you're taking this time out to rest and recover okay this could be a lot of you i'm picking up here some kind of us uh, for several of you i'm picking up some kind of surgery or um some kind of illness that has somebody here isn't feeling very good. I, I feel their um, illness now. And my, and my ear is ringing as well. So I think that um, there's, there's a need for you to take a time out here. Rest and think about what keeps repeating in your life that needs to change here. Okay. If you are experiencing a third party situation with someone, um, it's coming to an end. Okay. With this Queen of Wands, every time I see a Queen of Wands, every time I see a King of Wands, these are energies of people playing around and not taking things seriously as well. And there's an ending to it. Um, if you are in this player energy, Sagittarius, or if the person you're connecting with is, you feel like this is a very player energy kind of relationship, this is coming to an end. There's something that is going to turn around either with this person or... I just feel like there's major transformation happening in your life here with this person. I just feel like you want to be settled. You're tired of some kind of cycle, possibly with this Queen of Wands individual, possibly um, you with this King of Wands energy person here as well. Either way, there's a person here that there's a couple of people here that that are not taking things seriously and it's it's really wearing you down okay or some of you may be feeling played at this time and it's it's making you feel worn down okay um 
Let me see what else I can pull out of this because I, I, I know there's more to this story here that I'm not getting. What else can you tell me here, Spirit, for Sagittarius? I just know that you have a couple of different things going on here. Some of you have been on a long journey in terms of your job situation and things are going to start turning around for you. I think that a lot of you will come to some kind of, of epiphany about your job or your relationship. Whatever this is that keeps repeating in your life that you're tired, sick and tired of or that um, you're wondering why this keeps happening. Why does this keep happening, Spirit, is the question I keep getting here. And I think that it will start to make sense for you at some point when, um, you know, you take that time out to heal. Just keep keep what doing what you're doing, Sagittarius, okay? We have the lover's card. that You are connecting with someone you are very passionate about here, okay? And I do feel like that is why some of these cycles keep, re keep repeating with this person. This person's really... If you're breaking up and getting back together, breaking up and getting back together all the time, I think that it's wearing you guys out. You're very attracted to this individual. You're very passionate with them. We have a King of Swords. A lot of you may have cut this person out of your life right now. Or this person has cut you out of their life right now. We have a King of Swords energy. And this is somebody here who's been very kind of cold and detached. Not somebody who's not shown you the love that you deserve, Sagittarius, or that, um, or this could be you. You're, you're cutting yourself off from this person because for whatever reason, you're, you're healing from them. Feeling this King of Swords person, though, um, this is a masculine energy of somebody who is not, not willing to... Somebody who may want to be in control of the relationship, of the situation. And I think that there's a call to let it go here. Okay. Somebody here is not really putting their heart. They're not using their heart to make decisions in this situation. The King of Swords is all about using their head and strategizing and obsessing. And I think a lot of you are taking um, a little bit too much time going over and over in your head obsessing possibly about this relationship and this person and um, why this keep ha why this keeps happening and I think there is a call for you to just take a time out here Sagittarius and let this resolve and go within learn from whatever mistakes have been made in this most recent cycle um, possibly with this person really take that time out to explore and think about what needs to be changed here, okay? Because I think that once you do take that time out, allow yourself to reflect on everything, go within, um, rest, heal, relax, I think that the answers will come to you, okay? All right, that was a good reading, Sagittarius. I know that was a little bit all over the place. Let me know if this resonated for you guys. Also, linking to Faith and Fire Tarot. It's a new channel I have. Um, I'll provide it below. Take a look at that channel as well. I do career and love readings over there. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.